right, this is solving by elimination. And I know that this one is an elimination and not substitution because if you'll notice, neither of them are x equals or y equals. They're both some combination of the other. All right, x and y equals, x and y equals. This is perfect for elimination. So I have to choose whether I want to get rid of the x's first or whether I want to get rid of the y's first. It makes no difference which one you do, but I'm noticing here that the x's are going to cancel out really, really easily because they both have the same coefficient or the same number in front. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my line. And now I need to decide if I add straight down, will these x's disappear on me? Or if I subtract straight down, will the x's disappear? This is a big choice because it's going to affect the rest of the problem. 4x plus 4x is not 0. It's 8x. So it can't be addition. 4x minus 4x works. That is 0. So I need to use minus. And that minus is going to stick around for the whole line. So 4x minus 4x, that is 0. That canceled out. It eliminated. That's what we want. I've got 8y minus negative 2y. So I've got minus a negative. That's the same as a plus. So this is the same as saying 8y plus 2y, which is 10y. And I have this equal to 20 minus 30, and that's negative 10. So I've got 10y equals negative 10. I want y by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by 10. So I have y equals negative 1. And that is awesome. But just like substitution, because we're really trying to do the same thing, this is not enough. We started the problem with both x and y, so we're not allowed to take a break here and say we're finished with the problem if all we have is y. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take this value of y, and we're going to plug it in either here or here. You'll get the same answer either way. I just happen to like using the first equation. So I'm going to write this out the same way it is. I've got 4x plus 8y, but I know what y is. I know that y is negative 1, so I'm going to stick that in parentheses. And to finish it off, this equals 20. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. This parentheses thing, we're going to go ahead and distribute that. So I've got 4x, positive 8 times negative 1, that's negative 8, equals 20. I want x by itself, so I deal with the stuff farthest away first. I'm going to add 8 to both sides. So I've got 4x equals 28. Divide everything out by 4, and I get that x equals 7. This is a completed problem when I have both x equals and y equals.